This is News Trail, your daily dose. Hello there and thanks for connecting. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to News Trail this Thursday, 5th August 2021. I am Adetola Kayode. You're welcome. The sum of $1.4 billion has been approved for the rehabilitation of Wari and Kaduna refineries by the Federal Executive Council. The FEC meeting, presided over by Vice President Yemio Shibajo, revealed that $897 million is earmarked for the Wari refinery and $586 million for the Kaduna refinery. The Minister of State for Petroleum, Timi Silva, says the rehabilitation of the refineries will be carried out in three phases. FEC also approached the $2.76 billion acquisition of 20% minority stake by the NNPC in the Dangote Petroleum and Petrochemical Refinery. Contrary to unsubstantiated news going around, especially on social media, Governor Babajide Songwolu says the national leader of the APC, Ashiwa Jubola Ahmed Tinubu, is alive, hale and hearty. The governor confirmed that indeed he visited and had discussions with Ashiwa Ju on the party, Lagos and Nigeria. It's really just around all of the rumors that was flying around. And you saw the man. He's well, he's healthy. And, and we, we conversed, we talked about what is happening in our party, what is happening in the nation, you know, and, and to just say to him that, I mean, all is well. And I went to see things for myself. So just to ensure that, you know, you are all very nice gentlemen of the press. You will not report fake news. So it's really just to put your mind and put your you know, heart at rest that there's nothing for us to worry about. He, however, says he's not privy to when he will return, which he said is his personal decision. Governor Babajide Sangwolu has tasked Lagosians on the need to understand and support government and PSP operators by complying and paying their bills promptly. He reiterated this at the launch of 102 brand new waste collection trucks and 100 dino beans, all locally designed, manufactured in Lagos, Nigeria, and made to suit the environment. These will further help propagate effective waste management, increase welfare and productivity level of Loma staff, and also boost employment generation. The United States says it is developing a plan to require nearly all foreign visitors to the country be fully vaccinated against COVID-19 as part of eventually lifting travel restrictions that bar much of the world from entering the United States. The White House wants to reopen travel, which would boost business for the airlines and tourism industry. But it's not ready to immediately lift restrictions because of the rising COVID-19 caseload and highly transmissible COVID-19 Delta variant. Variant. Reports say the Biden administration has interagency working groups working to have a new system ready for when they can reopen travels. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Detola Coyote. Have a fantastic day.